I made a viral app that's getting hundreds of thousands of views per month. Let's get into it. Now, I found this niche thanks to my sons, right? Shout out to my kids. They actually introduced me to this thing, which is called a Soika game, right? A watermelon drop game. It's actually pretty viral. It's been viral for the past year, and a lot of people have been playing it, and it's pretty much popping up everywhere. Now, you know me. I had to go in and do my own research before I even start building anything. I said, let me find out, is this thing really worth it and worth my time? So I went in and started looking on YouTube, right? I start seeing videos, 1.3 million, right? Uh, there's a video that has like 32 million views. Then we go into uh, TikTok. TikTok has videos, 24 million views. Like this thing is viral. People play this game and they're interested in it. But guess what? This is not a hard game to make, okay? And the best thing about it is that when I did my research and I go in even deeper on things like this, on the Google Ads Planner to see how many people are actually searching for this, on average is getting 100,000 to 1 million searches, okay? Then from there, you have the fruit merger, which is 10,000 to 100,000. This is like for people that don't even know the name of it, right? Then from there, you have Soika game, which is actually like the name that the game is called, but people call it the watermelon game, okay? But again, this is also getting 100,000 to 1 million searches, all right? So yes, this thing is worth my time, <laughs> okay? It's worth my time. And I'm gonna let you guys know, this is the year for me to come back and start building a whole bunch of niche apps. My goal is to make 50 apps this year. And I'm gonna tell you guys about it and I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. I wanna give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video is Savala, right? My favorite hosting company. I've been telling you guys about this company because I really love it. This is a company that you can literally deploy any type of applications. They have everything super easy for you guys to get started with. It doesn't matter what type of projects you're doing, if it's PHP, static website, Node.js, Python, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is that you're building, they can help you go and deploy instantly. All right, guys, so this is actually the game right here, and it's actually a simple game, but it also has some features to be able to get the top scores in the top players, all right? Now, again, this is how the game looks. The goal is to merge different uh, fruits together and then from there be able to get to the highest score now what's really cool about this is that i added a couple of little features for you to reset the game and let's say you wanted to just get the hell out of here and start all over you can also do that you can also come in here and have some music a lot of these games don't even have music so i went out of my way created some ai sounds right so ai music uh, for my kids in a sense right all of the songs are based on my kids i don't know if you guys can hear it but yeah, this is actually a pretty cool game that I built here and it works perfectly. Okay, I love it. I actually spent like an hour and a half the other day trying to beat my own score. So this is actually crazy. Now, what's my stack for this project? It's actually pretty simple. I'm using Vue.js. Yes, I know, you're surprised. Vue, Joe, really? Yeah, <laughs> Vue.js, okay? So I'm using Vue.js. I'm actually using Nuxt for uh, handling, you know, the full stack. Um, from there, I'm also using Pixie.js. This is to handle everything that has to do with the animations and, and the game itself as a quote unquote game engine, right? There's some better ones out there, but this one was a pretty simple one that we could just start building with. And then from there, we're using Matter.js for the physics, okay? I was gonna use 3.js in the beginning, but to be honest with you, I decided at the end, I wanted to make it very light and that pretty much any type of browser can use this. So I said, let me just go in and use Pixie.js in the canvas to be able to go in and build this, all right? So pretty straightforward. And of course we have a database and the database is gonna be done with MySQL. Now guys, let me show you how easy it is to deploy an application like this and any other application that you might have using Savala. And then from there, I'm gonna go in and talk about how we're gonna monetize this actual app and show you guys the actual domain so you guys can go and play the game yourself. So the first thing you wanna do is have your application on GitHub and that's what we're gonna do right now. Then the next step is to go to Savala and actually go in and log in with your GitHub account. 
And now the next step is to actually add a service. So I'm going to click in here and I'm going to click on application and I'm going to use my Git repository. So it's a private repository. And in here, I'm going to search Suica game and I'm going to choose the main branch. I'm going to click automatic deployment on commit. You have CPU optimized, memory optimized. And what's really cool is that you could start with something small and scale from there on later on horizontally if you want to. OK, so I'm just going to choose this one. Click on create. And guess what? This is pretty much the application itself. OK, so while this is doing that, right, I'm going to go in and I'm also going to go and add CDN. Uh, status. This is how easy it is to just set up CDN. If you wanted to do edge catching, you could also do that. So again, there's a lot of cool features that you get to use with this. Also, if you want to go in and run some custom commands, it's very easy. You come over here to your processes. Okay. This is our server. So in here, I'm just going to come in and put in NPM run build, NPM uh, run start. And I'm going to click on update. And from there, we're going to click on deployment, deploy now. Okay. I'm going to click here, deploy main. And now while this is actually running the deployment, we can see everything that's happening over here. We get the, the logs from the deployment, right? Again, it gives you a lot of good information, you know, so you could debug or, you know, if something breaks in your code, you could pretty much see what's happening in here. All right, so let's go check it out. Let's see if it's actually up. So I'm going to go over here on my domains, right? To see all of the different domains. And I'm going to click here. And here we go. Okay, nice. Yay. <laughs> we up and running, kids. All we need to do is put the domain now. Yay. <laughs> so I'm just going to put in J. All right. Um, one thing that I am forgetting is we got to set up the database. We got all of this already running good to go great okay it works but guess what we're not saving the scores so we need to actually go in and do that now go over here click on applications and then click on database create a database we're gonna go with my sequel okay and i'm gonna call this one i'll probably just change this to uh soika game just like that and i'm gonna put it the same location in Virginia and we're going to add the resources. We could keep it something very low, right? Minimum $5, $34 if you want to take it to the next level, right? But I think for this, I think we should be good with just this to get us started. All right. And here we go. It's loading up. All right. So I'm going to go in add a connection. And it's going to connect with the Soika game. And in here, I'm going to add it as environment variable. All right. And then I'm going to click here, add connection. All right. So now what I'm going to do is come over here, environment variables, and I'm going to copy the actual URL for the database and everything. And I should be able to go in to my application. All right. So this is the environment variable that I need for Prisma to be able to go in and connect to the URL of the database. And I'm also running a migration, which I just did right now behind the scenes. And then from there, all I have to do is run this command and production and I should be good to go. And here we go. We have the migration set up and now let me see the logs. Everything seems to be good. The last thing that I need to do is make sure that this is running. So I'm going to go in over here, refresh this. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is running. Copy this, connect into web process. All right. All migrations have been successfully deployed. All right, cool. I don't want to stop today. There we go. Okay. So Joe got the high score and there we go. So we have the database working and yeah, man, we're pretty much done with this. Now, the final step is that I actually bought a domain and yeah, we're going to have a custom domain for this. So it's going to be Soika watermelon that app. So that way we could go in and get some real good SEO from this. So 
either the search circuit game or the search watermelon game like guess what we're gonna have to that app <laughs> we're gonna hit something all right so let me go in and go in here i'm gonna paste this in there we go here we go it's gonna take a little second okay and then now i just gotta go in and copy this stuff into uh, my domain all right we should be good to go all right so let's see pretty sure i should be done with this so if i click in here should take a little while but yeah i'll come back to it and i'll show you guys last thing i have to do is just add the a record at the end so let me go in and do that right now and then from there let's go in and actually click i've done this all right here we go and just like that we got the website up the whole application is up that's it <laughs> we got it done guys less than five six minutes all right it wasn't that bad so again you could come in here guys try the game out okay let's just say your name is june hey try to get the highest score man you already know you gotta beat the nineteen thousand. that's me all right come in join the game and try it out now we're gonna talk about how are we going to go in and monetize this thing? Whoa, change of scene. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about it. How am I going to go in and monetize this application? It's a game, right? But technically it's a web app. Now, the best way is to actually go in and get monetized by using Google Ads. You can actually get paid every time that somebody comes to your website, either by impressions or by clicks. Now, we know people are searching for this at least 100,000 times per month. Now, the goal is to go in and start creating some content on social media about the application to bring some traffic to the website. That's going to be the best way to start the marketing. Also, to with SEO, there's a lot of things that we can start doing from like creating pages to making sure that all the SEO tags are there and are mentioning the names so the things that people are mostly searching for. For example, Soika game, Soika watermelon, Soika watermelon game, watermelon uh, merger, fruit merger. There's a whole bunch of keywords that we can start targeting to get traffic to the website. Now, how much do I expect to make out of this website? I wouldn't be surprised if in the next month or two, it starts making $500 a month. Now, it might not seem like a lot, right? But it's a snowball effect, okay? Literally, you wanna go in, start creating an application like this, put it out there, and at the end of the day, it's a catalog. If you have a X amount of websites start generating you 500 to 1,000 to 2,000, right? It all adds up. The goal for this year is to add another $20,000 to my revenue every single month okay and that's just from niche websites now again that's my plan for this year that's my plan for this application i hope you guys enjoyed how i actually went in and deployed this application definitely go check out savala i'm telling you guys one of the best hosting services out there because pretty much you can deploy any type of application with a very easy way and again you can basically auto scale your application as big as you want, right? It could be an application that's only getting a thousand users, but it can go as big as, you know, you take that application. And again, you don't have to go in and go to any other platform or have anybody in come in and DevOps and this, this and that. It's like all of that's already handled for you. So definitely check out Savala. Now, again, if you want to learn how to build applications like this, you got to go to codingphase.com, guys. Stop playing. You already know it's the best platform out here. We're teaching people not only the skills to get a job, but how to monetize those skills. So if you want to learn those skills, come to codingphase.com. Link on the description. Today is actually the last day that you could get 40% off on the website. So, hey, take advantage. See you guys later. Peace.